，我爱中医，我爱中医。J'aime la médecine traditionnelle chinoise. Ich liebe TCM. Szeretem a hagyományos kínai orvoslást. Man alaqey ziyadi be tep sonati chini va tep suzani dara. Haram bariye China va ipiya murakalay mihavam birbhendriya. I love Chinese medicine. Canadian TCM is the representative of the overseas TCM acupuncture team. It's comprised of five parts for historical reasons, and its components are constantly changing over time. One, the family style ancestral TCM, mainly based on early immigrants and the TCM with masters and apprentices, who are non-medical majors. And who changed their careers after immigrating? Two, after the reform and opening up in the 1980s, Western medicine practitioners went abroad for training, and then they changed their profession to engage in TCM and acupuncture. Three, undergraduate and postgraduate students graduated from domestic TCM universities began in the middle of the 1980s. And especially in the 1990s and the beginning of this century, a large number of people went abroad to practice TCM. Four, international students from Korea, Japan, and other countries trained in China cannot practice medicine in their own countries after graduation, due to the restriction of their own legislation, but turn to overseas TCM teams such as Canada. The United States, Australia, the United Kingdom, Germany, Taiwan, Hong Kong, or TCM graduates trained in Korea and Japan. Five, TCM acupuncturists cultivated locally in various countries. TCM has a history of decades in Europe, America, Australia, and other countries. In the 1970s and early 1980s. Most of them were night school training courses. Colleges and universities have been built over one another, becoming the main force in the development of overseas TCM. It can be predicted that the future development trend is, if Chinese economy continues to grow, its national strength is gradually strengthened, foreign language education in TCM colleges is gradually strengthened. And international exchanges of TCM and acupuncture will become more frequent. The immigration policy of the host country is still more open, and the graduates of universities of TCM in China will, through various channels, eventually continually supplement the needs of the TCM and acupuncture markets in various countries, as long as they overcome the language barrier and understand and adapt to local cultural backgrounds and customs. They will contribute to the development of TCM in the host country. Due to the legislation of TCM and acupuncture, the graduates of TCM colleges in their host countries, with their own social backgrounds and languages, will become the main body of TCM acupuncture in the mainstream society, and the main force in the development of overseas TCM, which will gradually change the overseas TCM acupuncture team after a few decades. The above analysis should first take place in countries with a long history of immigration, such as the United States, Canada, Australia, and the United Kingdom. Hi, Yudani. Can you tell us when did you enroll in the TCM acupuncture program, and what was your background before studying、uh, this program, and what is the reason you choose to learning acupuncture TCM? Yes. Okay.、Um, I joined the TCM acupuncture program in、uh, September 2021. And before that, I was a registered social service worker.、Uh, so I always wanted to help people in whatever I do. So、uh, I think that's what、uh, you know. That's why I'm in this program、um, also. And、um, yeah, so during my the lockdown, I worked at a、um, as a reflexologist in a Chinese clinic. And there they practice acupuncture. So that's where I first saw how acupuncture is done, and I got really interested in learning that、um, technique. 
So that's uh, and I've I've ever uh, since I've been looking into do uh, acupuncture. So that's what uh, made me choose this program. And I ever since like I joined the program, I just love it. And also I believe in holistic medicine um, uh, and um, holistic therapies and especially ancient systems because uh, they say old is cold. So uh, I. I I believe that you know you can go wrong with uh, ancient modalities. Okay. Well, um, can you also tell us what is the most enjoyable things you have had in studying OCTCM or in the program TCM acupuncture? Um, I I love like basically everything. I uh, I really like Tuna program. Uh, I and I enjoy the clinical uh, practice that I'm doing. I just started my clinical uh, uh, sessions, so I love it because it enriches your knowledge. Um, and uh, I'm hoping to take herbs as well, which I I love. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so that would be my next step, hopefully. Thank you for watching. If you like our channel, please subscribe, press like, and share. See you next time.